Welcome to uh, a new game, War Thunder. It's a free to play online World War Two based aerial shooter. It's also got some other campaigns and whatnot. I just got it a few days ago. I've played it maybe an hour, hour and a half. Uh, not actually completed the tutorial yet, as you can see, which is why it's asking me to do that. I should probably do that at some point. Um, I've played as the British so far. I'm only only rank two, and I've got a few planes here. You uh, basically you get you get these uh, silver lions when you play, and you also aim to get some golden eagles, but you can buy them as well. And you can buy planes with kind of both of them, depending on what this cost is and whatnot, and also upgrades for your planes and all this kind of stuff. Um, so I've played a little bit. I've kind of I. Uh, Slightly cheated, I bought that one myself. Um and actually that one. But <laughs> but these two I've actually earned. Um but mostly it was just to give me something more interesting than a biplane, um because biplanes are a bit boring after a while. So I'll go to a battle now. Uh shouldn't take too long. So far I've not had any more waits than about twenty seconds really to get into a battle. Um and yeah, I'll go into battle and basically just uh fly around a bit and show you the game. Uh, generally it's a... You generally you've got to attack the ground and you've also got to fight off any f enemy fighters which are all real people. Um, so it's quite interesting, it's quite good fun. Um, it's made by the same people who made Wings of Prey, which is another game that I've got, although I haven't played it that much, so I'm not very good at it. Again, uh, but you get a wee reward when you first come into this game because you owned Wings of Play because you use the same account. Um, so yeah, this one, uh, as far as I can see, it's not too pay to win for free to play. It's uh, you know you can earn it, but you earn it faster if you upgrade to a premium membership, which you can choose for a day up to a year, um, which isn't too bad. Your mission is to destroy the enemy's ground equipment and bases. I quite like this map. Yeah, it's quite, quite fun. So now I have to pick my, uh, pick my, pick my plane. So I'll go, well, I'll go with a Hellcat first because it's fun, and it's got some bombs and stuff with it. And now, and now I'll uh, get ready to fly. Change the view, obviously, like everything else. Do we though? or not? But anyway, head into battle now and see what we can do. You can uh, choose all sorts of planes in this. You get bombers and uh, bombers and fighters and attackers and fighter bombers and all sorts. Um, this Hellcat has two bombs and two rockets indicated. You can see it up in the top left of the screen there. BMB is bomb, and arcade T is a uh, rocket. It's also also got some cannons or well, no, machine guns, which seem to have stuck on with the graphic, which is good. <laughs> I was uh, I was spewing spewing stuff there, which was. I should have changed the view now because I don't like that view when I'm fighting. I prefer just to go with the basic basic view. I'm quite injured already because I just got shot up by somebody. Um, I'm going to turn away from that. I'm not going to keep it. I'm not going to keep going after that. Okay. There's quite a lot of cloud and mist in this map, but I like the graphics. I like think the water and the cliffs and stuff look really nice. I spent half my time looking at the graphics, to be honest. I'm going to head in now to try and take out some of these ground uh, boats, like patrol boats down here. Try and shoot them with my bombs and the rockets. Do some damage if I can. Shoot them up as well, but I'm a wee bit far out still. Not sure if I hit anything much at all there, to be honest. But I'll come back around and hit the next, next ones if I can. It takes a while for your stuff to reload, so you're stuck with guns after you. This is arcade mode, so you actually do get to the old double strike on two of them now. I'll be getting shot up pretty soon, I'd imagine. Actually, 
this is taking a long time to reload all these bombs and stuff. Longer than usual. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere with that because I'm not using bombs or rockets. I'm going to try and get out of there if I can. Um, I don't think I'm being followed, but hopefully not. Anymore. Try and climb, get away from this, all this fire. I can go and reload and uh, repair that your own base, which is always good. But yeah, stuff firing all over me at the moment. Maybe go down and take these ones out, they're seeming a wee bit easier. So maybe now I should uh, go as a fighter and try and take out a spiffer. So, yeah. Go with the Hurricane. The Havoc has a mixture of bombs and machine guns, which is quite nice. Um, but I'll go with the Hurricane because it's more of a fighter. A bit more like a Spitfire kind of type plane. So. I think we're just winning at the moment. Like with uh, the original ways of play, the graphics on this game are quite good. Lots of moving, lots of moving uh, gauges and stuff you can see there, which is nice. Is that the Spitfire that took me out earlier? Fires in general, it's quite a lot of turning on. But then that's why they're good. Destroy the hostile vehicles! Yes, sir. I'm, I'm used to using the Dudder here, which is always, um, Always a bit rubbish on this game because it just makes you a plane. I guess it's more realistic. Always. Try to get out there. Down and under. I think it works. He seems to be going the other way. Um, yeah, the other just makes you swear back and forwards. It's mostly about using the joystick and pitching the wall and whatnot. But um, I'm used to a lot more of the other activity from things like Battlefield, which obviously not. I suppose. But but I use it quite heavily in uh, in those games. Oh, I think somebody just crashed into my whip, like a teammate. I can't control that either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody just took my uh, just crashed into me while I was flying there. Nightmare. Um, so yeah, bomber, or 
a kind of medium bomber type fighter thing. Attacker versus bomber. Uh, light bomber. Which should I go for? I'll go for the Havoc because it's uh, I don't know, because it's an attacker or something. I'll go with that and uh, see see how long I survive before this one gets taken out. This one has a bomb site because it's and like you can look down stuff because it's actually a bit more of a bomb. It's also got a few cannons and it's got a gunner in the back which you can control if you're getting attacked but will also automatically shoot for you. I want to stay quite high up with this one. But again, I think the graphics look pretty good in this. Hopefully that comes across on YouTube. Otherwise it'd be a bit disappointing. It's a bit difficult on my setup because I have my mouse and my joystick in this, on the same mouse pad, and then so I have to move one to use the other half of them, so it does tend to get in the way. Um, not entirely certain what angle I'm at. I think I'm going down. Oh wait, no, I'm going up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have. Oh wait, there we are. Okay. <laughs> With all this cloud, it's pretty difficult to understand uh, where you're at. We win, yay. So that was quite good. Um managed to get a managed to get a, a big ship there, a big diamond unit, got a, quite a few patrol boats with the Hellcat. Uh, not too bad. If I hadn't been taken out by my own teammate hitting me in the wing, it might have helped. Um when I was in the hurricane. Even so, got five ground units, which isn't too bad. Um so yeah, there you can see I got nine thousand XP but I would have got 19 if I'd been a premium, uh, that kind of thing. Um, good amounts of XP though. Didn't destroy an aircraft, but destroyed five surface units. So yeah, it's quite good. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed a glimpse at War Thunder. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and I can do more of these, a bit more in depth maybe, a bit more about the game. Uh, also, give it a try, it's free to play. Um, it'd be good to see more players on it, more the better, I'm sure. And finally, please subscribe to the channel. We've got uh, a lot of other games Formula One, League of Legends, Lunescape, Call of Duty games, Battlefield games, all sorts. I'll be trying to get a, a bit more of a variety up in the next few days and some Formula One. So, yeah, thank you for watching. See you again soon.